Looking to create a Christmas ornament that is unique, quick, and cheap? Watch today's video and I'll show you how. I love and adore unique Christmas ornaments. So today I'm going to show you how you can take a glass ball and macrame this ornament. Macrame is just a fancy word for knot. So you're just going to do some knots out of your cording, super easy and super economical. So if you ever have any questions during this process, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But no more waiting, let's get started. To make this macrame Christmas ornament, you will need a plastic or glass uh, bulb. Um, I found this at Hobby Lobby. It says it's 3.27 inches. You will also need to have a crochet thread or string. The one I'm going to demonstrate, I'm using number 10 crochet thread. And just so you know, number the number on crochet threads, the bigger the number, the finer the thread. Uh, so if you have a really fine thread, it is going to take a little bit longer. It'll give a more dainty look. A number three is a great uh, weight. The one here uh, in the picture, I used nylon cord, which made a beautiful uh, ornament, but it is a little harder to work with. The nylon doesn't um, keep a nice tight knot, but um, I, I think that's a, a stunning bulb. And you'll need to have a work surface. I just use this board um, that I got from Dollar Tree, and I talk about how you can make it uh, in our video uh, macrame tips and tools. And uh, you need some straight pins, and we're ready to get going. You need to cut 12 strings that are approximately 50 inches long and take one of them and this will form the circle that goes around the top of the ornament so we're going to form the circle and you do that by creating what they call a magic circle so we have this folded in uh, half take the end and just twist it in and make a circle inside of the circle and we need to secure that with pins to your board. Okay, I have that secured. We just basically need to make it so that we can attach our other strings to it. So take each string individually, fold it in half, so just meet up your ends and get your loop on the other end. Slip it under both cords on your magic circle and draw your tails through the circle, holding on to the magic circle as you pull it up. So let's do that one more time. You're gonna repeat this for all of the 12 cords. So you just slip it under, pull in your tails, hold on to the magic circle, and pull it up. So we're going to attach all of those where there are still two cords together. We won't attach any of them in this gap here. Here's what it looks like after you have attached all of your pieces to the center magic circle. Now you can take out your pins because these two uh, cords here that you use to make your magic circle out of are going to get tied together to become one of these. So we are going to draw it um, just even back and forth. There, I'm gonna pull on one side, pull on the other. When you get it down to almost the size of the ornament, we'll measure it to see how it fits. But you just pull it back and forth to reduce any gap that's being made but go even uh, so that your cords stay relatively even in length. So here's the center so we can get an idea. We want this to fit kind of snug around there, but not too tight that we can't take it off. Okay, that looks like a good size. These are the two cords that we were using to uh, pull it. So now you just tie those together with a simple knot. Okay, that looks good. I've tied the, the knot there, so this just becomes one of the sets of cords. Okay, to get a visual of what is next, we are going to group two sets of cords together, which will make four strands, and we are going to do a twisting knot 
all the way down and bring them together at the bottom. So to make that happen, to do a twisting knot, you take your cords, you always have to have four, um, but what happens is we do half of a square knot over and over again, and that will make the twisting pattern. So we're always gonna do a left twisting knot. So what that means is you're going to take your left cord, you're going to lay it across the two in the center, you're going to take your right cord, lay that over the horizontal cord, take your right one, put it under all of it, and bring it through that hole. And you draw it up to the top. So we do the same thing over and over again. So we're gonna do left over both cords, right over that one, right behind them, through the hole. left over, right over that, and through the hole. So when you start doing this, you'll see that your uh, stitches here are going to start twisting, which is what you want to have happen. So let me do a couple so I can show you how you can just manage your pattern. See there, it's already twisting a little bit, so just twist it the rest of the way and continue with your left one over and your left one over. Okay, I've went a little ways, so now you can see the twisting that happens. So the majority of the work for this ornament is going to be done on your working surface. We don't need to put it on the ball um, until towards the end. So we are going to continue this for roughly five inches. So I'm going to continue this pattern for five inches. Then I will group two more cords and continue the same thing for five inches. So we're going to have, at the end of that, we will have six of these twisted cords running down for approximately five inches, then we can gather them together. So let me do those and I will get back on here and show you what it looks like. Okay, I have each of the strips done and you can see the little spiral and this is a finer thread than this. So you can see the difference uh, between the two. This is the nylon cord. This is number 10 crochet thread. So now you slip the hole over the top of the ornament. and spread out your design and we're going to gather them at the bottom and make a nice tassel. So turning it upside down letting gravity do its thing is the easier way and I have done enough of these using a rubber band I thought would be um, a good option but it shows through a fine uh, thread so just take a short oh, 12 inch piece of thread and loop it in half so I have that um, thread folded in half and we're just going to draw up around the base. So this is just going to give us a chance to even it up a little bit if one side needs to be adjusted. So I have that tight and I'm just going to tie, tie just a simple knot around that. Okay, so that's just to hold it in place for a few minutes. Now we're going to take a, another piece that is about 18 to 20 inches long just about an inch above uh, your temporary knot there. So I have my tail, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So about inch and a half. Then you cur make loop up the bottom, give it an inch down, an inch back up. Now you're going to take your long string and you're just going to wrap around and around, leaving the top um, tail and the bottom loop open. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now you take your uh, tail of what you are winding and put it through that loop. Pull it tight. There we go. Grab a hold of the tail and that is going to draw up the loop into your column. And it's going to hide your cords just really nice. Spread them out a little and just snip off your end. So you just pull it enough to where your curve is hidden in your column. Now all you have to do is determine how long you want your tail, how long you want your tassel. 
cut it off and your ornament is complete. So there you have the ornament. It's all done. I just think no matter what thread you use for this, it is stunning. I love the contrast of the red and the clear. Um, if you try it with different colors, uh, let me know how it goes. If you ever have any questions, uh, please comment down below um, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Check out the other videos of other Christmas uh, macrame items and other macrame items, tips and tools that we have on the channel that is as always, thank you for watching DIY on the house.